here. This is the magnetic contactor that I disassembled to show us everything more detailed. This is the plunger, the return spring, the coil. This coil is electromagnet. There's a bunch of wire. Plunger. I'm going to put it back. This is the contact, if you are going to see here. And these two are the auxiliary contact. If you need more contact to put on your magnetic contactor, you just connect this one. The way how you connect it, you see these two, you are going to put this here. See this one? It's easy. Let's, let's do it again. The other one. This one. This block. Put it here. First, I'm going to remove this one so that you can see more. You need to push this this button, this uh, contact, in order to move down the plunger. And after that, see this block, put it here, then push, slack, to remove it. It's a little bit hard to remove. Let's do it again. Push. After that, these two put here. Now you have a lot of extra contact. How many contacts you have extra? One, two, three, four, five, and you have one here. You have six extra contacts. Now let's discuss the overload. The overload. Here, T1, T2, T3. This is the current seating, the trip seating, or if you're going to stop, this one. This is the trip rung. We're going to connect it here. Like that. And after that, tight. Then you have a complete motor starter. Okay, let's now, let's wiring to try to simulate this one. Here, I'm going to connect to the coil. Coil, I'm going to connect the 
negative of the 24 volt power supply and let's try now we're going to connect this motor we are going to connect here the other positive of this power supply that we're going to line one T1 going to our motor Then from our motor, the other side of the motor, we are going to put it to the negative supply of our power supply, negative side of our power supply. After that, we're going to press this one. See the, see the motors running? That's it guys. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.